Today we're going to talk about how to set the perfect line lengths for your web pages. In typography, line lengths can have a lot of impact on readability. Lines that are either too long or too short will make the text hard to read for your readers. Unlike paper or PDF documents, web pages are resizable. Container widths on a web page are often specified in percentages rather than pixels or millimeters, so it can be difficult for web designers to use only one percentage value to get proper line lengths across a variety of viewport sizes. Fortunately, by using the right CSS unit and properties, it's still possible to get the line lengths right on your web pages. In this video, I'll show you how. What are the proper line lengths? Before we talk about how to set the line lengths on the web, we first need to know what the proper line lengths are. John McWade, founder and creative director of Before and After magazine, mentioned in one of his LinkedIn learning course that the ideal line length is 45 to 55 characters without spaces or punctuations. If spaces and punctuations are included, the ideal line length will be around 66 characters according to the book The Elements of Typographic Style. For small mobile devices, the acceptable line length is 25 characters without spaces or punctuations. There is a reason why there are super long lines on the web. Designers normally only specify font size in CSS without setting a limit on the width of the text container. As the browser window stretches, line lengths will grow as well. The solution is to set a width for the text container based on the font size. The unit M. You may be wondering, I understand that I can set the container width based on the font size, but that can lead to a problem. If we need to change the font size later on, We'll need to recalculate and change the container width again, and that is not convenient. Fortunately, CSS offers a very useful unit, M. According to MDN, M in CSS represents the calculated font size of the element. That means if the text container has a CSS property font size 16 pixels, M for this container will represent 16 pixels, and you can use it when specifying the container width, let's say width 39M. It means that the container width is set to 16 times 39, which is 624 pixels. By using M, even if we change the font size property, we can be sure that the line lengths will stay the same in terms of number of characters because the width of the text container will change accordingly, like the examples shown here. Now, we only need to convert the line length unit from characters to M. Assuming that we're using a regular typeface with medium height to width ratio, we get the following. 34 to 36 M for body text in articles. And this is the ideal line length. 17 to 18 M for small mobile devices. Note that the viewport width for small mobile devices can be as narrow as 320 pixels. If we set aside 20 pixels for horizontal margins, the width of the text container will be 300 pixels. The ideal font size for these devices, therefore, is 300 pixels divided by 18 which is roughly 16 pixels. The HTML and CSS. Now we know the ideal values for the container width, we can proceed to writing our HTML and CSS code. Suppose the HTML for the text container is like so. Then we can use CSS code like this to control the line length. In the CSS code here, we set the width of the article tag to be 36M. You might notice that besides the width property, we also specify the max width property. 
This is to ensure that the container will shrink accordingly if there's not enough space for the specified width. The value of the margin property in this example will center the text container horizontally. We also add a media query so that the font size will be changed to 16 pixels on small mobile devices. Results By properly controlling line length through CSS, the results we get are a pleasant reading experience for both desktop and mobile users. And you can get your message across to your readers more successfully because of better readability. So next time you are designing for the web, try using and adapting the above CSS code to set the line length of your text. It can greatly improve the reading experience of your web pages. If you find this video helpful, please like it or share it with your friends. See you next time.